Well, One more story. Okay. Ro <laughs> that's, ro that's playing a game. No, no, it's, exactly. Uh, so my, my first company, Voodoo, we used to play games after hours. That's, that's what we did. Um, man, I played a lot of games. Do and you think I would, yeah, I do. And, and you think I would have learned from this experience, but obviously not. But we had this, this one day where we, we had this engineer who, who used to build computers, but he also, we also used to let him do you know, other things to be creative. And he, <clears throat> he was once building a potato launcher from a PVC pipe in, in the back of our facility. And, and, and literally, this thing would launch potatoes. You could put a full potato in it, and you put some hairspray in it, and you light it up, oh, and then boom. That. Yeah, it's like a bazooka, and it shoots a potato like far and, and long and, and like hard. It'll splatter against a fence. And um, anyways, I don't know what we were thinking, but this guy created this potato launcher, got a bag of potatoes. Um, you know, we were firing it in the streets. And then they all came over to my house to play games. And uh, we were at the house, we were shooting potatoes, and then we went in the house to play these games, and you know, we were there for a while, and then my wife comes downstairs, and it was like 11.30 at night, she says, the police are on the phone, and they're outside right now, and you have to take the phone. So I pick up the phone, and I said, this is the police, we understand there's firearms in the house, and you guys were shooting, and we hear the shooting inside. I'm like, no man, we're playing games. And that was a potato launcher, and he said, well, you all have to come outside with your hands up. And, and I'm not kidding you when I say, I, you know, I was even concerned about the phone. I said, I'm holding the phone. He said, put the phone down, come outside with your hands up. So we're all going outside one by one with our hands up. And I, I walk out and I, and I open up the van and I show him this bag of potatoes. And meanwhile, the rest of my team is coming out with their hands up. And these are, by the way, my team, these are 18-year-old, 20-year-old kids coming out, you know. And, um, and my wife was the last one. She had her robe on. And I said, man... All right, please don't do this, man. He was laughing. The police officer was laughing. There was police everywhere with their guns drawn. Um, and he said, no, don't worry about it. You're already in enough trouble as it is. But <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Anyways, yeah. so that's so, the wife story. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. A day in the life of Raul Sood there right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now you know why we have a COO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, you guys. You. I, I have to say, you know, I, might, I thought we might... I knew Shauna was an extrovert, but I wasn't sure about the other two. But yeah, no shortage of talking, so thank you. Um, give it up for our panel.